Today I want to talk about the greatest lesson that I've learned um, since, you know, investing in real estate and actually doing this venture about, you know, tax seed investing and overages. I actually have like the craziest story um, about an overage that I've been working on and um, I was just about to give up on it because the county was giving me such a hard time and um, it's kind of crazy because like when you're working other counties it's kind of like you start thinking that you have this expectation that it's gonna be smooth selling in other counties and um, just to come to find out this county just kept giving me the runaround the runaround I kept submitting paperwork they kept telling me that they didn't have it um, one of the things about you know doing stuff out of state is you know you can't just go up there and be like hey here it is you know you have you know you're just doing things through mail and anyway um one of the greatest lessons i learned is that you know um and especially in real estate and to my community if you're a newbie and you're wanting to either do overages tax deed whatever investing um, that you want to embark upon I want to I want to encourage you that just do it and don't be afraid to fail. Um, that's one of the greatest lessons that I think when I look back on my whole trajectory of real estate investing is that I fell forward. I I you know I failed. I still made money. Did I make a lot of mistakes? Yes, um, but I got better at it. Um, I learned different processes. I learned different things, different scenarios. I think one of the biggest lessons that I love actually about real estate is that, you know, no deal is ever going to be the same. Even with overages, you know, you get somebody that's like really ugly and then you get someone that thinks you're just like angel, like you're heaven sent. So, you know, it has its ups and downs. Um, but one of the things that I, you know, I think about a lot, just even doing this channel, you guys, is that my mom always wanted me to like, you know, do videos and do this stuff. And I was just always afraid. I was afraid to fail. And I think that's the biggest lesson that I've learned thus far is that, you know, you have to fail forward. Like, that's the greatest experience you're going to get. I don't think if I hadn't failed the first time, you know, purchasing my first tax deed that I would have even done this. It was like I went through so much drama that I almost like went to jail, like literally went to jail. And I was like. If I ever teach anybody this, I'm going to tell all my students like what to avoid, like all the different things that I like experienced in that moment. I, I did not know. It was like my first time, you know, investing at a tax deed auction. And it, it was just really crazy. Like the bank wouldn't give me my money. The county thought I was lying. It was just horrible. But you know what? I could have let that one experience, that one experience, um, derail my whole future right and but i failed right um i didn't get the property because i couldn't get them the money in time because my bank was tr like really you know sending me through the ringer they thought that it was like some fraudulent activity going on because i never pulled that much money out at one time um so i say that all to say i failed the county banned me it was it was a fiasco right and I, I just want to say that I could have easily like given up, right? I could have just been like, you know what, this isn't for me. I, you know, this is, you know, horrible. Like they even, you know, they even threatened me to that they were going to put me in jail. I mean, some of these counties, they, they do not play. And I just think back of like all the experiences that I've experienced through like my real estate journey. And even though I may have not made out like the best, I learned from my mistakes. And so today I just wanna impart some knowledge and encouragement to you if you are new to you know investing or even if you're new to tax deeds and overage, don't be afraid to fail because every mistake or every failure you make, it actually makes you better and stronger and it gives you more courage to move on. And I was just listening to something and it was like, I was listening to an audiobook, I can't think of it, but it was basically saying that the true people that make it in life are the ones that fail 10 times over and over again because they become a perfectionist at whatever they're doing because they failed so many times. And I thought that was really key to, um, I thought that was really interesting. Like I was just like, that makes sense because I failed over and over. 
and over again. But guess what? What I end up doing was getting back up every time I failed, I got back up. And every time I got back up, I was wiser, I was smarter. Um, it expanded my um, knowledge about things. And that's why I feel like I can sit here in front of the camera and speak to people all over the world because I'm confident in the things that I've done because I've done it and I'm still doing it. Like I do it every day. So I'm just want to encourage you and let you know that if you are afraid, push past your fear barriers and just do it and don't allow fear of failure to paralyze you. Just move forward and know that failure is part of the success process. Now, I do want to give you a caveat because I do say that um, especially tax deeds and overages is low risk. And I'm actually going to eliminate overages from here, <laughs> from this video, because overages is something that pretty much anybody can do. It's like what you put in is what you're going to get out. Just 100. I'm keeping 100, period, right? What you put in is what you get out. And now tax deeds, on the other hand, can um, be a little bit tricky because you can fail if you don't buy right, right? Um, so, but... The good thing about tax deed overages, there, I'm learning in different counties, there's there's tricks that if you fail or you mess up, you could correct the mistake. Um, for example, I don't know if I mentioned this on my channel before, but there were a lot of newbies in Oklahoma and this one guy was like yelling and screaming at the um, the tellers, the bankers that was you know buying the property because I guess he had bought it and then the next day he went to go look at it and he came back and he was yelling and they were like, you sold me a piece of land in the middle of nowhere, like it was like a lake. So like, you know, it was landlocked and he was like, why would you sell that? Well, that is like a failure mistake, right? Um, so there are certain things about tax deeds you do have to be aware of. Uh, that's why I always say do your due diligence because one of the key things that I've learned um, through this process, and this is pretty much, well, I don't want to say that because I have brought property sight unseen, but there are actually properties and I called the title company to verify that there was actually, you know, a lot in a house on it. But tax deeds is a little bit different, especially if you're going to be doing like out of state or um, places that you're not familiar, which I really highly would not suggest. I always tell my students, if you can't um, afford to buy in the state that you live in, go in a state where you might have friends or relatives or people that you trust that can do drive-bys so that you're not um, making the, you know, the, the, I feel like the easiest mistake of just buying something, you know, sight unseen. Now I did do that in Oklahoma, but at the same time, I did have a realtor that lived there that helped me out. And she was like, okay, anything in this area is good. Now, I could have ended up with a sidewalk, you know, um, but I did have time to like, you know, Google it, the address and zoom in, but I didn't drive by it, which that pretty much went against my grain. But you know what? I'm so confident in what I do. I'm like, you know what? If I lose two grand, I know I'll buy something for two grand. I would just have to pay that back. You know what I mean? Or I would just go and pay the back taxes and then it's 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 all, it's all eliminated. So there are some tips and tricks that you can learn about um, buying a property. I know one student brought a tax deed and um, I didn't realize she had never bought in her whole life and she couldn't seem to um, get rid of it. And I told her, you know, she could kind of like let it go and it wouldn't affect her credit. And um, basically she brought a lot, I believe for like $5,000 and uh, she couldn't get rid of it and um, she couldn't sell it. And I said, well, what you can do, and this is something that you guys, it's like a trick. I don't advise it and I don't talk about it, but it's like you can do is just not pay the taxes and let it go to the tax sale. Um, make a long story short, she did that and she ended up getting $90,000. Um, from the overage because I told her, you know, I was like, let it go to the um, auction and I said, let it uh, run it up. I said, have your friends go in there I, and or a realtor go in there and run it up a little bit. But she didn't even do that. She just let it go and she ended up getting, um, I, I believe it was 85. It sold for 90, but she owed 5,000. So she ended up with $85,000. So there are some tips and tricks that you can learn even if you fail in this business. So I, that's why I always say tax deeds is like a low risk investment because there's so many different strategies that you can utilize to get out of the investment. Well, I just hope this helps and encourage you to not be afraid to fail forward. Happy investing, you guys.